go. <laughs> Jacob gonna go. Um, Bayonetta. Yep. I mean, I think I mean that's a pretty nice character to start with <laughs> if you want to just do anything. To be honest. All right, there's Luigi. I mean, obviously we've seen what Elegant could do to Bayos, so let's see if people will be in the same caliber. People does kind of have a. Like, it's funny. It, it's funny how like Luigi is one of the few characters where you have like a physical <laughs> barrier to yeah. try and play this character well. Like, people is getting big, getting more consistent at it, but I know I remember when he was first starting out, it was kind of hard to like be able to mash. But so far, getting these big combos, a lot of percent so far. All right, there's two slides coming out from Jacob. Kind of one of those things people need to understand. Bayo slide has two different properties. You can go for the full slide where you'll see the guns come out and then they'll pop you upward or you can go for the regular slide. Yeah. That was really good from Peepa to be able to make it back and there's a misfire. Oh. Unfortunately, SZ is just a little bit. Doesn't ride up the bottom of the, the stage. Ledge, yeah. There's a slope that like sometimes it ends and it's hard to tell. Yeah. At least in my case. Mm -hmm. Also, Peepa, uh, I, we're seeing it a little bit already but he's one of the most Shoryu happy Luigi's I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's see what he does at the ledge here. He's trying to catch him on the landing, but just going to ABK or dive kick back to the stage. All right, Jacob knows that he's at quite a possible death percent, but he wants to wear, run away with a lot of percent, and I like how he's moving in there with his back hairs. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like if people just reverse the up smash and got the first hip hitbox oh. out, then he might have been able to seal the stock then. But he, since he was doing the regular approaching one, then the hitbox came out later. I was actually thinking the same thing. Reverse up smash could have been an optimal choice there. All right, nonetheless, people uh, people able to find that stock. Let's see how he comes back. Oh, I thought I saw the downer coming through. Yeah, I mean, that is a DI mix. If you DI out, then you do usually don't get the spike hitbox. And mm -hmm. trying to find the Shoryu, not working there. But people so far keeping this close. Oh, that was his opportunity to just show you, but I think he was hesitant on the spacing. Yeah. Because usually you'll see it like when they do it directly into your shield, <laughs> then you'll be able to do it. Since the hitbox is relatively small, I didn't think he didn't want to take the risk. Not only that, Jacob went for the full slide, but he actually didn't go for the pop-up. So that was quite an interesting notice uh, to see from Jacob. I like that from people. Walks a little bit away. Has Jacob chase him. Could be his opportunity to go for a grab. Didn't quite feel it. People are able to come back on the stage here. Mm -hmm. Jacob respecting that recovery there. Interesting. Usually people after the side B will just try and go down for a dare or something. And Bale is more than capable of doing that. So Yeah. Oh, Jacob was so lucky with the roll there. Did not get caught by the up smash. All right. People fishing for this up smash here, but people are unable to find it. I feel All like right. after that dive kick, Jacob could have gone for ABK into Nair or something to seal mm -hmm. off that stock. That's usually something you see Bale do at the higher percents, but didn't quite work for it there, but you know what? You, you don't need all that fancy stuff when you can just back here. Speaking of fancy stuff, if you guys don't know what ABK is, it's an afterburner kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the upward version, and then dive mm -hmm. kick is the downward one. For di uh, for those learning Bayonetta, if you want to do dive kick, you basically do the input for uh, Hot Token and, yeah. then, and then press B, and then Same you're input. good to go. Yeah. I actually didn't know how to learn manual inputs until I played Smash 4. <laughs> That's a really sad story, but <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> Alright, let's see if people can keep us cool or if Jacob's just going to power up game 2. Yeah, that sounds relatively close. Like People yeah. just needed one good hit. You know, it's always one of those tough things where you're punished on hit and you get wish twisted for it. Uh, it's, it's the worst. It's, it's pretty rough, but... Yeah. I mean, that's just awareness of the opponent you're fighting as well, you know? So. Jacob looking to just take all this percent. Right here, give it to Peepa. Peepa on 54%. This is Jacob. Jacob's being pretty, quite the aggressive, you know, trying to make sure that he sticks it to Peepa and not gives Peepa any room to breathe. Oh, All right, man. another witch twist. Peepa off the stage. This is Jacob's edge guard opportunity here. I like the response. Yeah, Jacob looking like Lima with these relentless edge guards, and he's not going to be able to make it back. His jump was eliminated somewhere in there. Jacob, oh, what a witch time. That's going to be big percent coming in for Jacob. Only 30, not a full capitalization that we see. Oh, Other another witch time. time. The Hogan late drop. Finding that quick up air. And it looks like Jacob's starting to get a handle of what people's aggression looks like. He didn't pull up. Okay, he pulled out a down smash and able to seal off the stock oh. and end with the taunt as well. But yeah. He, he <laughs>